Today we're going to learn a little bit more about estimation and addition problems. If you haven't watched the rounding video yet, you'll really need to do that before you work with estimation and addition problems or have to understand that skill. If we look at these numbers and look at these add-ends of this addition problem, we've got 87 plus 58. Of course, we could figure out an exact answer. So 7 plus 8 would equal 15. 5 regroup the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 5. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14, so we have 87 plus 58 equaling 145. Now what estimation means is this. We're going to estimate each of those add-ends to go ahead and check our answer. There is no way that you can just take this and estimate it or round it. If you did that, you wouldn't be checking your answer, because if your answer was already wrong, if your answer was already wrong, then there's no <laughs> it would not work in any which way. So what we're going to do is we're going to estimate each of these add-ends to the nearest tens place. 87 to the nearest tens place is 90. 58 to the nearest tens place is 60. And if we add those together, 90 and 60, put the zero there, 9 and 6 is 15. Our estimate for that addition problem is 145. Now, let's see if it makes sense. See if it makes sense. 87, we went up 3 to 90. We went up 2 from 58 to 60. So our answer should be about 5 away from each other. And yes, that's the case. It's not always the case that, and again, you can't just round this. And it won't be always the case because some cases you might go up and in some cases you might go down. So your estimate might be higher or lower depending on what it is that you're doing. Let's take a look at a few more. All right, we have a new problem here. Go ahead and read it with me. 378 plus 563 equals 941. And the instruction says, estimate to the hundreds place to check. Which one and what digit, what are we going to do? We're going to take each of those add-ends and we're going to go ahead and, and round them. We'll round them to the hundreds place. We'll round them to the hundreds place. So we'll take this first add-end and round it to the hundreds place. If you watched the rounding video already, we'll circle that digit, underline get it. 378 is closest to, right, 400. And then we'll take the other add end, and we'll round it to the nearest hundreds place. 563 is closest to, 600. And in that case, the other thing that we'll end up doing is we'll make sure to put that sign there to add them. 0, 0, 4 and 6 is 10. 1, 2, 3, and what I was doing there is I was counting the places so that I could go ahead and place my comma. My estimate for this addition problem, 378 plus 563, is 1,000. My exact answer was 941. In both cases, I went up 22 here, I went up 37 there, yep, and so that's why my answer and my estimate for this addition problem is higher. All right, I have another problem here. I figured out the exact answer for you. And then we're going to go ahead and estimate to the thousands place to check. What digit is in the thousands place? Right, the 3 is in the thousands place. And then so if we look at 53,208, we've got 0 to 4. Place value stays the same. So you got 53,000 there for that there. And 7,325, thousands place. Digit in the thousands place is the 7. And also, that digit is also going to stay the same. And we do have to remember to zero out after the circled digit. Again, please remember to put that addition sign. And in this case, if we add those two add ends up, those two rounded numbers up, 3 and 7 is 10, 0, 1, 1 and 5 is 6, 60,000. 60,000 is our estimate at this point of that original addition problem. Does this make sense? We went down here, 53,208, down by 208. We actually went down here as well by 325. And so we basically just took away that. If we take away that, 533, that's how far away those two answers should be from each other. 60,000 is a reasonable estimate for this here. 60,533 looks like a reasonable answer as well. And then so again, I am checking my work. 
this is one of those instances where, hey, some students will be like, hey, wait, 60,533 doesn't round to the 60,000. That's not how it is that you check whether your answer and your check is reasonable. What you're looking at is the add-ins themselves and what you did with the add-ins. All right, it's your turn to try. If you take this here, it says to estimate to the hundreds place to check. Go ahead and copy down the problem. Hit pause. And go ahead and find the estimate there to check it. Remember to work with each of those add-ins, to work with each of those add-ins. So I'll help you set up the problem a little bit, and again, do hit pause. This is what you should have come up with for, for both of those add-ins. 1,583 to the nearest hundreds place is 1,600. 2,461 to the nearest hundreds place is 2,500. And if we add those together carefully, we make sure that our place values are nicely lined up we get 4,100. And again, we should be looking. We went up there by 17. We went up there by 39. Sure, it makes sense then that our answer has is higher here. Our estimate is higher. And so this here is our actual, and this here is an estimate for that addition problem. Here are a few more problems. Let's go ahead and read the instructions together. These instructions are a little bit different than some of the, the instructions that we've seen thus far. And so if you read these instructions together, it says estimate the sum and estimate the sum. And what that means is that is it looking for an exact answer or is it looking for an estimate? Right, it's looking for an estimate. And then so all we need to do is just to estimate it. We will not need to figure out the exact answer. Of course, you could figure out the exact answer to be more precise but it is not necessary in this case based on those instructions. And so if we estimate the sum, and it use, sometimes it'll tell you as to what place value to estimate the sum to, and sometimes it won't. And if it doesn't, then you get to choose as to what place value that you want to estimate to. And there's no wrong answer, as long as you choose the same place to estimate to. Um, let me think, think, think. I'm going to choose the tens place to estimate, too. If you were going to go, go ahead and choose the hundreds place, it would have been perfectly fine as well. We've got 480 here. You do the next one, 362. What does that go to? Think, think. Correct. 480 plus 360. See if you can do that in your head. Did you get it in time? The estimated answer is 840. And again, when it says estimate the sum, if it doesn't give you a place value, you get to choose the place value. I'm going to show you those few more for you to solve on your own, and this time I'm going to tell you what place to go ahead and estimate to. All right, please go ahead and copy down these problems. When you're setting up these problems, please go ahead and write them vertically, being very careful to line up your place values, to line up your place values. And then so what I mean by that again is this. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and write those numbers very carefully, and you're going to go ahead and make the, sure to write them. And again, common mistake is just going to be to add those and just to have an answer. Again, what we're doing is we're doing an estimation, an estimation. And you need to figure out the estimate, so go ahead and figure both of those out, and I'll come back with those answers. And for those estimates, I'll write those in green for you when we return. Hit pause. All right, we have the answer to that first one there. Our estimate being 61,000. Our estimate being 61,000, where you had to go ahead and round 53,209. Nearest thousands place is 53,000. 7,631. Nearest thousands place is 8,000. For our bottom one, we have that number. Read it with me. That's 243,709. Rounds to 240,000. That was nearest 10 thousands place. 57,609, nearest 10 thousandths place is 60,000. And if we add those together, we're going to go ahead and get 300,000. And so that is our estimate. That is our estimate. Some of you might have been hmm, really good students, or you might have been curious. You might have figured out an exact answer just to make sure that your estimate is reasonable. And again, we had talked about that earlier. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the exact answers on the screen. As you see, those are our exact answers. In the first case here, first case here, 53,209, we went down there, we went up there. That's why our answers are actually so close together. 240,000, we went down there by 3,709. And for 60, 
50,000, we went up by about two, see, 2,381. So in that case there, that's why it's reasonable that we have 301,318 as our estimate for that there. And again, the answer to an addition problem is called the sum. So, and this is our estimate, where this is our exact answer. Thanks for joining us today.